First you take the boom boom. Make sure that you have room room. The reenactor reenactor is called the hobby. I don't like to call it the hobby. I like to think of it more as the field of history and living history, stuff like that. You didn't have a shirt at all? See, this is for him, man. You have a Yo, shirt I tell you what's going to be cool, Rob. You see? I was playing Xbox. Okay, okay everybody listen up. Okay, we're now back 14th Rhode Island. Let's chill out. We're under arms. Next one, Christian. Most people think that we don't know what we're doing, and that was like the first year we went to Florida. Nobody one, wanted to one, fight next to us. Nine, Nobody eight, wanted to be around one, us. One, one, nine, nine eight, eight, one. one. Que no puede escribir, entiende, conyo, porque... The best way to get kids interested and exposed and understanding the mission and the meaning of black Civil War soldiers is to do it. Get out here and do it. Everybody, take a deep breath. We're going back to 1864. I'm not Rob, I'm the lieutenant. He's a second lieutenant. This is a ranking NCO. I want you to take a deep breath and get out of your head and become soldiers. Is Eric there? Is that you? Get your ass out of bed, get ready, get get get, get going, okay? We gotta be there at 11. I know, yeah, kid, and every time I call you guys, you know, we're supposed to be so, because this one won't wait. The guy ain't gonna, you know, the governor ain't gonna wait for you. <laughs> I'll see you over there. I knew they would be sleeping. <laughs> the assholes. I was with the 54th, Company A, in, in Boston. One of the things that we did with that group was work with kids because we all decided that we were all too old <laughs> to keep it going. We got money from the city to work with the two high schools. Essentially, it was like an AP, an advanced placement class in African American history. I was with that group from 93 until I moved down here in 2001. And the fortunate thing for me was that Rhode Island had also had a black Civil War regiment. I said, Let's see if we can do it. Most of the guys that are with me today came from the NJROTC. Most of the kids were Dominican. It just seems that those kids were the ones who were there, and they thought this was cool, and they came kind of en masse as a group, and they've stuck with it. There's Marco there. Cookie, you ready? Yeah, just go straight down to the mall. And then go, you know that big white building next to the mall? Yes, the White House. Looks like the White House. That's the one. All right, I'll see you down there. Good luck. See, they all know how to get to the mall. Lucky thing, this thing is next to the mall. Just follow me. What's going on? I used to go to, um, I used to be in ROTC, back at Central High School. And Rob one day came into class and talked to us about it. I was interested in it, and I went. A couple of other people. Most of them, I don't know where they're at right now. I just started going every weekend. And I've been on it three years in a row. I haven't missed a day. To the officers and men of the 14th, it affords me much pleasure to present to your regiment this flag, and I feel confident it will be entrusted to his brave men has ever entered the service in defense of our country and its liberties. And I now surrender to your keeping that its history be Rhode Island's history. After the time went by, I just got started getting more interested in it. First Sergeant, post. Not just the shooting, but the history behind it. Before the program, I didn't even know anything about the 14th Rhode Island African or the Civil War. So the ladies of New York, New York's, uh, New York City, or it might be New York State, but probably was New York City, raised money, and they. Que tú no tienes amigos para salir, si no hay viejito y lo que está en el programa, que son muchachos buenos. Siento bien. She's saying she's happy because um, I'm not spending time on the sheet. I'm not just hanging around. That um, the people that I'm with, they're good people. They're good kids. 
Where are you going? <laughs> call my job. <laughs> see if they still need me to call. <laughs> You'll see soon if you still got one. <laughs> if I still have a job. So you're looking forward to Florida this year? Yeah. I'm not now. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it because I'm looking for a new job. So, but I'll do my best to make it. This is a good one. We can actually have a reenactment on the actual battlefield. It's a really well-run event. This is their 30th anniversary this year. So, as a reenactor. You really appreciate that the, everything you need is, there's never any problems. Oh my God. Damn, man. We got one, extra, have one extra belt. Yeah. And that's it. Got like a little rope I can use to tie my pants <laughs> Back in those days, you didn't have this kind of stuff. Did they have that either? They had that. Yes, they had that. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, you should give that shit to me right now. I was in jail to see for one year. So he went to jail to see, started talking about civil war. And it was a lot of work, but at the same time it was kinda of fun. What? Mr Mr. Esteban, from now on, I don't wanna hear you talk. Okay? Tell you unless you're spoken to. We got low, we got weapons we're gonna fire today. You're very rusty, none of you are practicing. Months. First, I started talking about a little bit about the Civil War. Nobody cared, really. One voice, me. But then after that, he told us we get to go to trips. We get, he said, even himself, he said, the most fun part is shooting the guns. And like, you're actually in the war, so everybody was like, yeah, you get to shoot, you know what I'm saying? Company, shoulder, arms. Without doubling right face. Five files left, march. Forward, march. Five files right, march. At the double quick, march. Hurry up, I'm freezing. In the history, they only tell you like the good parts about it, like the big battles sure. and things like that. But then once you get in this, and like, right. you learn from people like our CO. Tension, shoulder, arm. More things that they don't teach you in high school. Don't move, darling. Hey, hey. Move, you know. keep pulling around. Hey. hey. Fire. Recover, arm. It's the experience when you hear the bugle call. That's different than reading it in a book that said there was a bugle call for this, there was a bugle call for that. That's that's the kind of learning they get. It's real experiential. You bring it right up here on your chest. I wouldn't say either. I learn a lot in the Civil War right now because we, we didn't learn about people who you actually was in the Civil War. We really get into how like ex the experience that people had back in the days, that's what we have with us. So we really know what they went through. Fire! Order ah! Yo, you put it down. Come on! Uh -huh. <laughs> fix your pants, private. And when you put that weapon down, make sure you put it down right. Because we all teenagers, we fool around. When we got to do something really serious, we do it. Left oblique, and fire! Recover, arm! Shoulder, arm! One, two, one, 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 two, one. So what's up, man? Well, missing you. <laughs> How do you feel about all this? Kind of pissed as I can go. But can't leave school, can't leave work, man. I gotta get these guys slapping around, man. I, I'm saying, I'm gonna have to get tough on them now. Jim Carlos ain't going on. deserve a puppy. Well, it's kind of obvious. If I don't go, he won't go. I'm getting kind of pissed thinking about these kids that won't show up, like Marco. Where's your father? Where is he? Give me a phone number. You're coming here tomorrow. Yeah, you are. 
you come in here, you be here at 6 o'clock. And this is the ne next thing you're going to do. Every day after school, you're going over to that Volunteers in Providence Schools for tutoring. No going home, no fooling around. You're going right over there and you're going to work with those people till the end of the school year. Oh, I think. I think. You've had a, uh, so far, a broken ankle. Yeah, I, which I think is a, a major fabrication. <laughs> He said it wasn't actually broken, he said it was sprained severely and he was on crutches, but I think he's full of shit. I think Michael just doesn't like to sleep in the woods. So, our enthusiasm level is going down. Say worry before every trip, you know, Willie Shep. There's not enough of them. There's not enough of them. You gotta get a couple more, three more from the, the scouts, but you know, that's, we need more than three. If I was full time doing this, we would, you know. They'd be here. There'd be a lot more for them. You know, if I th you think about it, you know, I'm asking a lot of them. They're, they're, they're taking their time from whatever it is they're doing. They don't get paid. This is my favorite, my favorite day of the year. <laughs> go get, go get something to eat. There's food in there. I knew that would get it. Going. How are you? Good to see you. You want to come in for a second? Come on in. Come on in. We're doing good here. I know you have a, you, you gotta be warm, huh? Little warm in here. Alright. Well, we got Marco. Maybe we can get a couple more. We'll be in good shape here. We'll go get Gene. Marco, I want you to call. I want you to talk to Christian's mother. Uh, I just told her, she don't understand English. Tell her that we already paid for his ticket and we expect him to be here. You all set, Willie? You got everything packed that you need to get packed? Yep. Give me a hand with this stuff so I can get it out of the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you want to say? I said, hold. I'm going to put your seat. Is there another one coming down on the phone? No, I need not even. Okay. You're going to have a good time in the woods. <laughs> we'll get him whipped in the shape. I was like, gonna take him on a dance. Gonna dance with the girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's oh, yeah. He's a dancer. You want me to open my up? Are they muskets like this? Exactly. Same thing. We still gotta get ourselves through the check-in. You know what? We take all our clothes off. Watch your fingers. All right, everybody, get their gear. Get your. Oh, that's just making Eric. You got that? I think we got it all. Just got a cap.